You see, it's important for us to understand Ephesians 5.21, which says, Submit to one another out of reverence for the Lord. Before we can proceed with instructions for husbands and wives, for uh, children and parents, parents and children, employees and employers, as noted in Ephesians 6, we must understand what Ephesians 21 is talking about. And again, God's instructions in Ephesians chapter 5 to 6 are for Christians only. If you're not a Christian, you, you will just look at this and say, what? How can I do that? If you're not a Christian, not depending on the grace of God, the forgiveness of your sins, you will not be able to follow and obey God's word. So to make the most of life, we must, first of all, always, always depend on the grace of God. I'll touch more about that later, but uh, you recall a couple of weeks ago, Joe Morris preached on that. And, 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 and uh, I encourage you to listen to that again. But we need to, first of all, always depend on the grace of God to be Christians. And then we daily need to thank God for this grace through Jesus Christ. Now look again at verse 17 of Ephesians 5. It says, therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will, will is. Christians, do not be foolish. We are to understand God's will, God's plan, God's desire. In other words, that's why we have the Bible. By the way, I, I'm looking into doing a group outing to the museum to see the Dead Sea Scrolls. So uh, be praying for that. Hopefully we can get a good deal. And uh, hopefully we, we can all go and, and see that uh, um, evidence of God's word. But we need to study our Bibles daily as uh, a brother Joey prayed about. And so before looking at the specific life situations and instructions, we need to note six things that I've noted from scriptures here. In order for us to make the most out of our lives, and we talked a little bit about it last week, we need to uh, do six things. We need to note six things. Number one, daily depend on God's grace through Christ. And again, uh, as I mentioned, that was Joe Morris's uh, message a couple of weeks ago. If you'd like to learn more, we have that on tape. Or just talk to Joe and get the, and get the, uh, the text and, and, uh, and the uh, transcripts for that. But we need to understand how great the love of God is for us. We are sinners, but God gives us a gift of forgiveness. And he gives that on a daily basis. You live by grace, by faith. Daily depend on God's grace through Christ. Experience and receive God's grace always. That's number one. We need to do that. If we don't do that, the rest of the stuff is not going to work for us. So daily depend on God's grace. Understand the love of God. And we need to constantly learn more about God's love. And and we do that by what? By studying the Bible. So number two, we need, we, we should not be foolish. We are foolish when we don't take the word of God on a daily basis. Jesus said it. You cannot live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew 4.4. 4. We will be foolish if we don't partake of God's word on a daily basis. Listen to God's love, see God's love, and ask, how can I please you, God, as I'm reading scriptures? Daily study the Bible. Number three, we need to fully depend on God, the Holy Spirit. That's why it says, do not get drunk on wine or anything else, but be constantly be filled with the Holy Spirit. We talked about this last week. Are we getting drunk on something else rather than God. Do we get drunk on things, whether it's alcohol or uh, drugs or entertainment or relationships? We can get drunk on something else rather than being drunk with God the Holy Spirit. We would be foolish if we don't 
focus on God. In other words, we need to yield to God the Holy Spirit within us always before getting caught up with other things. Now, God provides certain things. I mean, I love snorkeling in Cozumel, Mexico, watching all those fish and big ones and green ones and blue ones. And I mean, I loved it. I was getting high just being there. My wife can tell you, even at Door County, even though it's cold, I look for little fishes in that cold water for hours being drunk and enjoying God's creation. It's so easy to do, and God provides that. But you know what? We need to constantly think about God. <laughs> I had to make a joke uh, in my Facebook profile. I said, you know, I love snorkeling. I wonder if Adam and Eve had snorkels. <laughs> Because God, I'm sure, provided beautiful things like that. Maybe they never snorkeled. And we, if we have ever, have ever, ever done that, you, you have experienced something more than Adam and Eve, perhaps. But anyway, we need to be drunk with the Holy Spirit. We need to think about God first. In a practical way, what do we need to do? We need to check our hearts. Always check your heart. Is God involved in my life, or am I putting something else there ahead of him? And then, of course, in other, the way to, 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 to think about our hearts is to pray. Is God on the throne of our heart? And before partaking on anything, whether it's snorkeling or sometimes drinking, or, and, 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 when, and we pray before we eat. Do you pray before you drink? And, and, I, and I challenge you, actually, don't drink. It's messing up the world. Be drunk on God. Pray first. Number four, we need to speak about God to people. You're having a conversation. Are you bringing God to that conversation? We need to do that to make the most of life. Depend on God's grace. Study the Bible. Depend on the Holy Spirit. Speak about God to people. Number five, like what we do, that's why we, have, we sing. We are to worship God and sing about Him. And number six, we have to be uh, thankful to God the Father for everything. So those are six things that we must note before we move on with the instructions of God. We need to remember those things. How important are they? Isn't the Word of God telling us that these six things are necessary for the Christian life in order for the Christian to be effective in their lives? That's what we read. These six things are important. If we cannot commit to these things, it will be very difficult, actually probably impossible, to obey God's instructions from Ephesians 5.21 on down. God, I, I, I can't love my wife as, as you are saying here. God, I, I cannot submit to my husband. Well, God is telling you, where are you submitting to me? Are you looking at the word? Are you praying? There are things that we must work on before we continue with these instructions. You see, the six things we just talked about is all about being humble before God. It's about being humble before God. Here's a truth that is so important that we need to constantly think about it, but we mess it up. You see, if we cannot be humble before God, who is the creator of everything, how in the world can, can we submit to anyone else? You won't. Because you're, you're turning against God who is your creator. That means you are saying, I'm more powerful than God. How can the, in the world can you submit to anybody else when you're not even submitting to God? Humility is the key to the Christian life. We need to humble ourselves before the Lord. And so what I'd like us to do, I'd like us to take a moment to quietly pray to God right where you are. And if you are physically able, kneel before God. Now, of course, what's important to God is kneeling with our hearts before Him. So right where you are, would you quietly pray? 
just to humble yourself before God, your creator.